Hey guys, hey. So, Matthew and I have pulled over for a little while. Um, he's taking a little bit of a nap. And I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for him to wake up. Um, trying to be as quiet as possible. He's laying in my in my lap. We've been on the road all day, as you see the U-Haul trailer. Um, and I'm just petting his little head and holding his little hand. I don't I don't know how many of you have relationships like him and I and it's more than just codependency like it's more than just we rely on each other I am his everything and he is my everything. I have such a hard time letting go because I lost my dad and I lost my brother. And I'm so scared. Sorry, we're in a weird parking lot. I'm just mentally frightened to allow him out of my sight just because of my abandonment issues I mean those are definite things that I'll be working on in therapy and of course you know as I've told you guys before I know things are gonna happen I know things are gonna be fine but at the moment it doesn't feel fine to me and at the moment it doesn't feel fine for him and at the moment my little heart is broken and I can't help it because it is not far from being Sunday and we leave on Monday and I still have so much to do in the house. I still have at least one more trip to Roseville and definitely one more trip to the dump and recycling center. We've had absolutely no time just to rest. We've had no time just to be with each other and relax. We've had no time just to sit and cuddle. And I'm still not going to get that. <laughs> And that's one of the things that him and I do the most of is we spend time with each other cuddling. And we really like skin to skin contact. And we really like cuddles. We really like to spend time snuggling and holding hands as you can see even when he sleeps. He's holding my little hand. Like... He's my best friend. And even though I know I'm going to use this time wisely, and so is he, he's going to go to school, and I'm going to have my surgery, and then, you know, I'm going to try to go to school, and... This is one of the toughest challenges I've had so far. It really is. It's one of the toughest char challenges I've had. And I've, I've overcome 100% of my worst days. Of my bad days so far. So I know I have this. And I know he does too. And we were talking about it earlier. And he's, he's heartbroken. That he has to leave me. We show our emotions so differently. And that's why him and I are such a good pair. Because he is stoic. And he is kind. And he is patient. Where I'm very exuberant. And 
hot tempered and I'm unable to be patient. So him and I are very lucky to have found each other. And I'm a very, very, very lucky woman. I'm a very, 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 very lucky woman. And I'm so proud of everything that he's achieved. And I'm so proud of him. And I, I'm so happy that he's going to go and experience another country. And I want him to go out and experience Seoul. And I want him to try different foods. And I want him to see what it's like. So when I come over there, and he wants me to come over there as much as possible. And so when I come over there, him and I can go and enjoy ourselves. Like, that's the kind of stuff that means the most in life. We're never promised tomorrow. We're never promised tomorrow, guys. I'm not even promised tonight. But right now I get to hold him. And I get to... I get to touch his little hands and I get to snuggle with him. And I get to pet his little head and it means the world to me. And these are the things that I hold on to. These are the things that when I say goodbye to him on Tuesday. These are the videos that I get to look back on and smile and feel good about because I, I did get this and I do have this to come home to and he will be back and I will be in a much better space I will be much healthier both of us are going to use this time to better ourselves in a way that are wanting to spend 24 hours a day with each other didn't allow. So, I think that we will do really well. I hope whoever you're with or I hope Whoever you love, you give them big, 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 gigantic hugs and you snuggle them. If it's your kids, if it's your dogs, if it's your mom, your dad, whoever. Because like I said, we aren't promised not even one minute more. And we're not promised it any time on earth. And every minute that I get... Every minute that I get that I'm married to him is a precious, precious gift to me. It's a beautiful gift that I have. And I'm very grateful. I will talk more about um, my surgery and things after I come back from Seattle um, and Portland and, and all that. So um, once I start doing the pre-op and stuff like that, we'll, we'll talk a lot more about those things. Um, those things are not important to me right now. Can you hear him snoring? baby he is my my baby so I know people are asking because I haven't really talked about it much lately um, I've been doing a lot of soul searching and a lot of talking with him and um, we talked to my doctor, and like I said, we'll, we'll talk more about that later.
there's a lot of other stuff that are, that's coming up that, you know, I'd, I'd rather focus on um, that. And then as it gets closer, we'll start talking about what's going to be done and how it's going to be done. So um, right now it's Matthew leaving and then me visiting Michelle and Alicia. And then um, it's me coming back and having um, an injection in my hip. And then we'll start talking about Thanksgiving. And then we'll start talking about um, my revision and what's going on with that and, and all that good stuff. Okay. So... I just wanted to get on here today because I do need to upload a video. I, I didn't have a chance to film. God, guys, I haven't had a chance to film anything. I have been back and forth for days. Putting stuff in the U-Haul, taking stuff out of the U-Haul. Putting stuff in the U-Haul, taking stuff out of the U-Haul. I mean, our apartment is wall-to-wall -wall boxes that my mother-in-law will have to go through. Um, tomorrow, I think we're going to spend like maybe an hour trying to put some stuff in my room. That way she can at least go through all of her boxes and decide what she wants to do with it. Because it is literally wall-to-wall-to-wall -to -wall -to -wall boxes in the living room. Because uh, I don't know where any of the stuff she wants to go. So, tomorrow, um, um, tomorrow I think we're bringing my chair and, um, no, I think tomorrow, yeah, because tomorrow's Sunday, yeah. So, um, the internet is unhooked at our house tomorrow. So it'll be hooked up into the new apartment then. So um, tomorrow is when we'll move all the rest of the stuff out of the house. And even though we're going to be spending the night there, um, him and I will be getting up at 6 o'clock in the morning, dragging that bed out, putting it in the back of his truck, and then um, having the people come in and take a look at the house at like 8 o'clock. He'll be doing his final out processing. And then sign the paperwork. And then we're done. And then we're going to drive back to, to Roseville. Sorry, I don't want to wake him up. And then we're going to drive back to Roseville and pick up, and pick up the rest of our... Um, God, guys, and pick up the rest of uh, our, our luggage and stuff that'll be in the truck, park his truck and have his sister or somebody take us to the airport and we'll just be sitting there waiting until our flight at like four something. I think this is worse than, like I said, I've said it before, to me, this is worse than when he went to basic training because I knew he'd be back in eight weeks. I knew I would see him in eight weeks. And then I knew he'd go to tech school for like two months, or I think it was three months. But I knew after that, him and I would be together at our, at our new base, we'd be living at our new base. So even that, I was kind of like, meh. Now, this is a bit different. Um, you guys keep asking me how long. It's 14 months, guys. It's a, it's a little over a year, and it could be a little longer. They may make him extend it. Um... He is my fairy tale. He really is. He's my fairy tale come true. Such a beautiful, beautiful part and a beautiful person.
and so kind and so giving. And he's, he's the kind of person who stops on the side of the road to help people. He's the kind of people who gives people rides even if, you know, even if he's going to be late. He's the kind of person who stops on the side of the freeway because he sees a dog and has to go after it. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He's the kind of person who will, you know, give you the shirt off his back and our last dollar. Him and I are the kind of people who give everything we've got. We're givers. It feels good to give. And that's kind of what I do here. We have a... We have a lot of biker gangs in this area. Which will be nice for me to move into a nice, quieter, nicer part. Um, essentially. So... I uh, would like you to be outside and for you to stay outside. No spiders in the, in the car, please, and thank you. Uh, I'll pet you. Hold on. I'm fixing my pants. Did you hear him? Uh, I stopped petting him. Alright, guys, I've sat here and yammered for forever. I'm going to let him sleep for another 30 minutes and wake him up. And we're not that far from home, but he gets uh, road hypnosis, I think is what it's called. Like, the lights and stuff make him really sleepy. Um, and so I just, I just let him sleep when he needs to. He, you know, needs to take a nap and that's fine. So the house tour will wait until I come back. Um, again, I just wanted to tell you guys I appreciate you. I really do. I appreciate all that you've done for me. Um, I appreciate you guys being here, supporting me. I always appreciate your feedback. Even when it's criticism, <laughs> sometimes you need it. Sometimes you need somebody else to tell you, you know, what's going on when you don't see it yourself. So I love your beautiful, gorgeous, amazing faces. I really do hope everyone's having a much better week than me, weekend than me. And I know for a fact I will talk to you again tomorrow. Mm. Won't be able to upload this till I get home, guys. <laughs>